it's Amanda with Unhinged Magazine again, and we're sitting down with Luke Mock, and he's a youngin. I think you're the youngest one I've uh, interviewed so far. Really? Um, 18 years old, already making a mark. Um, he has a unique sound, but identifies with the pop genre. Uh, his new single, Universe, will be coming out June 12th. Uh, so you headlined the Perform for Purposes uh, Winterfest in 2019, uh, raising like $200,000 for that. Um, so tell us a little bit about that program um, for those that might not know what it is. Sure, sure. So Perform for Purpose is an organization uh, in my county where they take kids from all over the county and you can play at all sorts of charities and benefits. And basically you're raising money or you're just doing it for the community or for festivals and stuff like that. And the kids get to perform, get experience performing while also helping out a handful of different things like, like uh, any, you can also like release music and have it go to specific charities too. So sometimes the kids can even choose who they want to help. Nice. Uh, so who do you see as one of your biggest influences for your sound? Uh, I'd say a few of my biggest influencers are uh, artists like Shawn Mendes and and John Mayer, and recently Charlie Puth and Billie Eilish too have been kind of messing with my vocal mind, I suppose. Nice, nice. So when did you first pick up a guitar to learn to play? Uh, when I was about 12, uh, seventh grade, so like 12 years old, yeah. Now did I, you get professional lessons or did you teach yourself? I, 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 went, um, I went and got professional lessons and at a studio called Jim Van Arsdale Guitar Studio, which is kind of how I got linked with Perform for Purpose because Jim Van Arsdale run, had been running Perform for Purpose at the time. But um, okay. yeah. So do you play any other instruments? Um, I play a little bit of piano and I just got a ukulele. So I've been messing around with that a little bit. It's pretty similar nice. to the guitar. I got I got lost on the playlist of your covers um, on YouTube. Um, I went down the the playlist uh, rabbit hole for all of the covers that you've done, and I mean they're they're amazing. I'm heading down south to the land of the pines. I'm thumbing my way into North Carolina, sitting up the road. Pretty God, I see headlights. But now you're releasing your own. Um, so what's your creative process like? Do you come up with like lyrics first, music first? How do you, how do you get your songs out of your head? Great question. Um, you know, it's, it's different every time, you know, and I'll say I, when people ask me sometimes like, you know, how do you, you write songs? How do you do it? I say every time I write a song, it feels like the first time I've written a song, you know, because it's always different, whether I'm making a melody, maybe I have like a line, and a lyric and a melody in my head and I'll like record it in my voice memos on my phone and then I'll like put chords on it later with a guitar or sometimes I'll have a chord progression like when I started I had like a chord progression on the guitar and I was like I want to put words on this and that's kind of how I started but nice. I'd say now I kind of get melodies kind of in my head I suppose or like a real life scenario and I'm just like I need to put this I need to express this somehow but it changes every time Gotcha. Gotcha. So uh, while performing, um, whether live or on, you know, doing your little YouTube stuff and everything, what's the strangest or even maybe embarrassing thing that's ever happened so far? Ooh. I mean, the voice cracks, if you ever have a voice crack, like at a live show specifically, it's kind of embarrassing, but it's all about how you play it off, you know? Like, I'll just... I'll pretend like it was totally just passionate, you know, like it was on purpose. <laughs> you just roll yeah. with it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, if you could collaborate with anyone that's currently uh, on the music scene, who would you love to collaborate with? Oh, there's, there's a lot of people. I mean, by collaborating, I mean, I could do like so many things like songwriting specifically or even like recording a song with somebody. Um, there's, I've always wanted to, sing with sabrina carpenter for some reason i don't know why i nice. don't know why i just love her voice gotcha I think, it would be, I think it'd be cool 
So do you have some weird or strange, uh, useless talent? Uh, I, I asked this to everybody, so I love these responses. Oh, oh I guess I, I'm pretty good at like ping pong, I guess. See, there you go. I, yeah. I don't, I don't, I think I can, I can serve it and that's about it. Yeah. I don't get you further. So I don't know. I don't, I don't know. This isn't, this is like the opposite of a talent, but I, I can't burp. What? So, yeah. Yeah. You might need to get that checked out. Yeah, I've heard, <laughs> I've heard perhaps you're right. <laughs> uh, so has the pandemic um, affected you and the music um, at any, like, did you, have you had gigs canceled? How have you been getting around with all the pandemic stuff going on? Uh, yeah, um, you know, a lot of things have changed. I've had to come home from school. I, I go to SUNY Oneonta. I major in music industry. So everything I'm doing there is, you know, music related and, and ever since the pandemic, I've been at home and I've had to resort to recording at home and working with people over Zoom and over other platforms and stuff like that. And then, yeah, all the social aspects are a lot different. This definitely right. impacted me and a lot of people, but I think I'm transitioning well, as well as a lot of people are. Right, exactly. Uh, so tell us, um just you've got the floor now so tell us what you're planning on doing what your future is looking like um talk a little bit about universe um what that song um what inspiration um made you have that song and um we'll go from there sure so uh universe is pretty much about a like a relationship but it's kind of interrupted i would say by another person or, you know, you could think of it metaphorically, like an, another aspect, like something is getting in the way. And it's just something that's kind of out of your control, kind of like the universe in space. We can't really control it. And there's so much to know. That's kind of the inspiration behind universe. Gotcha. And yeah. And, you know, with the future and the future plans, I mean, I, I plan on releasing more music with the live shows and stuff. It's very hard to plan ahead right now but uh, I really hope that once everything is you know back to back to normal I'd say whatever normal will be after this exactly. that, uh, I'll be playing a lot Please 
don't